You're gonna have to be quiet, okay? Assalamu alaikum. So today I'm gonna show you one of the suits that I purchased uh, for making for my daughter. Um, it's by Maria B called the Embroidered Collection and it's uh, basically an unstitched suit which is from one of their designer ranges. Comes nicely packaged in a fancy box and the price of the suit that I paid was £145. Uh, which is very expensive and I don't generally like to spend that much on uh, clothing especially when I know that it's going to be worn the once okay so basically it's on a chiffon and it comes with lots and lots of motifs that you have to cut out and apply and then uh, stitch to the design that you want now the way this one is made is with a very flared trouser and a dress um, she didn't particularly like the design of uh, this as a flared trouser she wanted a straight trouser which there's ample fabric and what I suggested to her was because she's very slim I said I'll uh, what I'll do is I'll make you double the suit but I'm gonna give you some comparisons with this compared to one of the apps that I recently uh, downloaded and I purchased quite a few things from there and what they do is they do embroidered patches uh, but the embroidered patches are very delicately finished off you know unlike these patches where you have to uh, physically take uh, all this excess away and also apply the uh, wonder web or something on to you know uh, the fabric with them patches a lot of the work has already been done with some of them already have the um, um, glue added on to the wrong side so you can actually place it on the fabric obviously they're not designed as suits like these but the amount of uh, money that you're spending on something like this to then put so much effort into you know uh, the stitching and then hanging it in your wardrobe and wearing it the once or the twice is such a shame to waste such a large amount of money because if you're willing to invest in the time and effort then you that's something that you can do yourself you know you can source all the things like this this these type of chiffons are readily available and you can do wonders okay so i'm going to go on to show you what we have with this suit first of all and then you can decide for yourself if you want to make an investment like this and purchase something like this obviously once stitched and if you've got the body and the figure and so on and the looks for it then you'll carry it off uh, beautifully no doubt about it okay so what we have is we've got this uh, fabric for a scarf and uh, again the scarf is not finished off and you would not leave it like this it's very I, I would say ugly you know this is something that if they're charging hundred and uh, you know 145 pounds for the least they can do is actually have the edges of the scarf uh, scalloped but unfortunately that's not done and that's something that you do have to do yourself if you want the result otherwise mm, you're gonna have a tatty look tailors in pakistan yes do do a wonderful job in this they do charge unfortunately here if somebody bought something like this to me to do considering the amount of effort and time i have to put into this i would be very reluctant to take on the stitching of this because obviously um it requires a lot of work and uh, then somebody who spent so much money on it will want a perfect job doing on it as well so a suit like this if you've paid 145 it can cost you another 45 55 on top and it could end up costing you like 200 pounds you know uh, now with this what they've done is they've supplied this like a cottony material and they've applied it to the edges of the scarf which is absolutely ridiculous i i didn't like that and halima didn't like that so i won't be using this to apply it on i don't know some designs are just ludicrous uh okay the sleeves are like such they have a motif with pearls added on this is another point um which is irritating um, for someone like Halima having pearls on her sleeves she will be constantly complaining that mom these are irritating me these would have been ideally served on the dress itself rather than the sleeves but anyway 
I suppose the models are just wearing them for a few seconds and it's perfectly fine. Now what you have to do is cut the sleeves and then this piece actually goes in front of the sleeves. And again, one of the other things that you have to be very careful of is of making sure that there's no irritation. If you've got a daughter like Halima or any, anyone for that matter, you know what, they will be fussing over the fact that this is irritating. Mom, why did you slip this on? You know what, personally, I don't even know if, I'm, if I'd want to slick this on the sleeves. It is quite irritating. And the second thing is, wherever it rubs against the dress, it will ruin it. You know how your sleeve parts rub against the dress? If you won't um, close with dabka work and stuff, that's a problem that often happens. That, you know, you've got, when it rubs against the clothes, it ruins the dress. Uh, piece for the neckline this is for the neckline again it's not finished off again this is on a uh, organza and you have to burn it out before applying it onto the suit itself um, the trouser fabric is in a jamawar type and then it's also got this lining fabric which is slightly stiff for my liking to apply on such a thin fabric uh, you know and i would like to get more of a delicate fabric for the lining so perhaps i will sew this into a trouser also and get some more for the lining these are patches for uh, applying on top of the trouser again we've got the same problem that this uh, has not been finished off and you do have to physically trim you know burn out all the excess uh, the dress uh, there is ample fabric so even if you're a large size um, you could easily make this the back of the dress is plain uh, the well not plain plain it's got just small motif embroidery and the front of the dress is has got a border okay uh, like I said, there's ample fabric. If you wanted, you could just make the front and back out of this. You could apply it, you know, the, for a small size, you can easily make a dress. Now, there is one other, one other uh, little bit of a problem thing that I would show you. And that is that this is done, embroidery is done on a cross grain. This chiffon is crinkle chiffon. And the crinkles, you can actually tell uh, the lines of the crinkle. Uh, they fall in the one direction. And then if you've got something like this, what you have to make sure to do is similarly use this uh, use going the, across the grain as well. Often when we generally saw, we saw, you know, uh, like this way up. And ideally, that's the way the fall will be. And that's the way uh, the, uh, you know, proper way to do it but make sure to do it this way because otherwise you will have one side one the front falling one way and the back falling on the opposite direction so that's the uh, front and the back and then it's got ample ample um, fabric for applying to the bottom of the hem uh, again unfinished uh, it has the cut work here that's been done but the edges themselves they've not been finished off so again this is something that you will have to physically burn out okay and this one this is a piece quite a large piece which is for the dupatta again you know this is something that you have to burn out and apply so lots of work uh you know i mean like getting your head around how you're going to go about making this can take you a while uh burning out and preparing all the pieces will take several you know quite a while and then obviously then it is back to the stitching the stitching itself is not so bad but it's all these little bits and pieces right preparing all the pieces making sure you know and then also the result depends on other stuff as well you know um, stuff like if you were sewing it with this fabric this is a very stiff fabric it's like a cottony you know you know there's, there's no delicacy to this you want something that falls you know you want a graceful type of lining and then it's a shame that they paired it off with this 
what convinced me to buy it was yes i did love the color i loved all the pieces for someone like me it's okay because i can get double the advantage okay so if you've got like two girls in the family and uh, they're fairly slim and uh, you know the way the girls wear their clothes they're quite petite and um, now the fashion has changed it's a lot shorter dresses narrow gummies you know you're not looking for the massive diamonds and so on if you're going to make something like that then this is something that where you can easily uh, get uh, two dresses for the price of one and uh, that's something that you know okay if you've got two girls you're willing to apply the effort then that's something that you can do yourself now in comparison to this if you watched my other video where i bought the motifs and those have had this delicate work done on them and the way they've been you know um cut out and ready prepared that's my like ideal solution so anyway i'm gonna let you experiment look on the whatsapp and look on the wish app and see if you can locate i'll post you the link and you can have an idea of what i've purchased and where i've gone and experimented there is quite a few that i like and i will be buying some more so uh, keep a look out what i purchase more of and how i go to apply those and uh, now i think what i've done is i've gone over time and i'm not gonna have be able to load sugar I've done this video and uh, it's gone over time and I don't think I'm going to be able to upload it. Stupid thing, turn off.